So then, the big question right now in Europe is how many more places will get free public transport? Because free public transport is becoming a trend in Europe. Let's take a look at some examples. In the summer of 2022, for three months, the entire public transport in the whole of Germany almost went free for three months. That is crazy and completely epic. It costs just nine euros to travel on every single train, bus, tram, U-Bahn, S-Bahn and Dangle train in Germany for just nine euros for an entire month. I was completely awesome. The only trains that were exempt were ICE and IC trains. Sadly though, this wasn't a permanent thing. It only lasted for three months. So what other places across Europe have free public transport? There's actually a couple of very small little cities and towns that occasionally do have free public transport. Also in other big cities, occasionally there might be one individual route that might be free. But what about an entire country having free public transport across everything in the country and it to have no end date, it to be potentially going on indefinitely? That would be mind-blowingly epic and that is what Luxembourg has done. Every single form of public transport within the borders of Luxembourg, including trains, trams, buses and long-distance coaches, are all free. Completely free. You don't even need a ticket to go on them. That is epic. Now, with that said, Luxembourg is a small country and the only city in Luxembourg is Luxembourg City, which is a small city. But even though Luxembourg is small, let's say you're going from a city to a little village right next to the border in the north, which could be 40 miles away. That journey would be free and that is 40 miles you're going and that is very good for people that live in these very remote little villages. So then, I decided to travel to Luxembourg to have a look and see what was going on there. And since I previously went to Luxembourg, something has changed. Luxembourg now has a tram system. So let's go and take a look at the trams.
now, another thing that's changed in Luxembourg since I was last here is on the mainline trains, and to be honest, there isn't really that many trains in Luxembourg, even though they're all free, the valleys aren't really that extensive, but as for the trains, it's actually built a new station to serve the other side of Luxembourg City, and to get people from the station up to the city, there is a funicular. But before I take a look at a funicular, let's take a look at its brand new station. And now let's take a look at the funicular. This is actually two sets of two funiculars, so four funiculars in total. Let's take a ride on it. Good luck, 